Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here with a nice clean workspace. Check this out. These leather, or not leather, these denim, denim straps. I was wondering, I was wondering if I couldn't do like a, a tie design. Le I mean, seriously, have you guys ever seen a, a leather um, tie? I don't even know if they make such a thing. Probably not. Because it's so dumb. What do you think, guys? I think it looks rather sophisticated. All right, so... Uh-oh, now I can't get it undone. That's not good. Hey, there's Annabelle. Say hi, Annabelle. Hi, Annabelle. There we go. Okay, so I was going to do an unboxing video. I have a couple of video, uh, a couple of boxes that showed up in the mail, and I forgot what they were. This one here, I'm, I'm thinking that it might be the push, the, the push. What do you call it? The push pull coil tapping for the humbucker to make it be a single coil. I'm guessing, like I said, I don't know. I don't remember. And I need my reading glasses. Okay, yeah. Potentiometers. Double pull, double throw. 500K short split shaft audio push pull. Okay, that's what these are. Okay, so I've never done a, a coil tap on a, on a humbucker. So this will be the first opportunity I have to do coil tapping on a humbucker. Made in China. Ah, forget it. Ah, forget it. Next is my box of goodies from CV Giddy. And I always have fun opening these things here. This is always stuff I need. I need some more bubble wrap. Do that all day. Oh, you want to see a cool trick? Take the bubble wrap and twist it. Alrighty then. Got me. Ah, come on. Let her go. Where's my knife? Oh, fell right out of the packaging. A fretting crowning. It's got the little curvature, um, curvature there, so you can like dress your the ends of the frets. I've never used one of these, but I saw it for sale up there, so I figured, well, why not give it a, give it a try? So this is a fret crowning tool to go along with the frets. Dropping stuff here. I actually have a, it even says right there, frets. And I put all my, my frets in here. So this is the next generation of frets there. Strings, another package of strings. And again, this is the 44, 34, 26 that I usually tune EBE, but you can use these to tune GDG. In fact, they, they say GDG. But you guys know me, I always tune down. Put those for the next set of strings. Okay, now we're getting into the goodies. All right, two bags of goodies. What could they be? A 
black soap bar guitar pickup, P90 style. A cream soap bar single coil P90 style pickup. So two P90 style pickups. Three P90 style pickups. Four. Four P90 style pickups. Two black and two cream. And also one of these um, uh, Gen 2 Giddy Bucker surface mount cigar box guitar humbucker pickup. To be honest with you, I totally forgot that I had ordered these things here. So I'm going to put these where I put my pickups, which is in that box right there off screen. Right? Safe and sound. All right, one more bag, one more bag. What I need are the um, shafts. I need the long style shafts. Ask and you shall receive. All right, these are the, the gold plated quarter inch jacks. And here are my long shafts long shafts and these are actually you can tell they're longer and why I need long shafts is because sometimes I got to go through thick pieces of wood even though I uh, use the uh, Forstner bit to thin it out a little bit I still got to go through some um, depth of material there so these long shafts actually go perfect for that And of course, the guys at CB Giddy always give me the free mahogany box corners with Indian head nickels. All right, so I've got me a collection here. Coin collection. I got eight of them in there because I comprised two of them. So I have now a total of 16 of these things. Yeah, so I'm collecting these things because I'm a collector. Hello. Hello, I forgot about the piezos. The piezos. You guys know me. I put the yay in piezos and the harm in harmonics. And last but not least, this big box. And it's heavy. Hey Dell, I look forward to seeing what you can do with these boxes. I'm all about tone and playability, thinking about a piezo slash humbucker combo, but would appreciate your thoughts. Don't worry if you mess one up. I'm including three boxes just in case. Smiley face. Please call me when you have the opportunity to discuss the build. Thank you very much. Um, Steven from Oldsmar, Florida. All right, Stephen, I will be giving you a call. Let's look and see what we got here in the box. More bubble wrap. Wow. What a shiny box. Hmm, wow. Smells legit. Wow. This is a uh, this is like a keepsake box, dude. Seriously, I mean, look at the thick walls on that. Look how smooth that is. <laughs> Mouse trap. Um, wow. Okay. So we will. Yeah. Seriously, look at look at that shininess. Yeah, I can see how you could be con concerned about me messing this up. I would uh, definitely um, have to take precautions to not scratch that thing. My gosh, because that is shiny, glossy, and shiny. Hey, it even says Dell. Look at that right there. Shiny.
tiny box. It's got a little curve, curve ends here. And the box is felt. The back side is felt. Have you ever felt a cigar box guitar? Now you have. All right. I'm thinking maybe a shiny neck and some um, some highlights of gold and black, maybe. Sky's the limit, man. Sky is the limit. All right, I have one more box to open. But I think I'm going to save that for a separate video. So you're going to have to watch the next video, the next unboxing video, to see what's in the next box. I'll show you the box. Here it is right here. Here's the box. And a clue. It's from CB Giddy. All right, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. Don't forget, if you like these videos, be sure to comment, share, subscribe, like, all that gobbledygook. I do have a Patreon. And exciting things happening at the Patreon. So, all right, guys, we'll see you around.